Good evening, ghouls and ghosts, and welcome to the next episode of Minty Reacts, where I am reacting to Are You Afraid of the Dark? This time, episode number two, The Tale of the Laughing in the Dark. And as I said on the first episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark, this is the first time I've ever been watching these. However, these first couple episodes, I might actually know something about just because of just the fact that it's an older show and I've probably seen a YouTube video or two about this series and if I remember correctly episode two is the one that most people say is like the scariest one which is why uh, which is the one that like most people kind of like cite as like this is the reason why this show is better than Goosebumps and it's mainly episode two and if I remember correctly as well from the videos I've seen about it before it's not actually that scary but it's one of those things um but either way, let's just get into the episode salary. I believe this one has some clowns in it, though, so trigger warning if you are afraid of clowns. I think this one has clowns in it, so just be aware of that. But either way, let's get into the episode, shall we? So in three, two, one, well, let's get going. The park is called Playland, and it was oh, we're just going straight into the story. Okay, we don't even need any anything ahead of time. Okay, that's kind of a bad name. Like, that's a really not good name. None of that stuff is scary. <laughs> like, is it just me, or is it like, none of that stuff scary? Granted, these are like actual children, children. Oh, yeah, there's a clown, yeah. Clown story. I hate clowns. They're creepy. They give me nightmares. Where's my thermos? Oh, oh, I heard it. You know what? Call it bozophobia. That's actually not what it's called. That's not what it's called. But fair enough. Fair enough, girl. I respect you. I respect you, girl. I respect you. You know, if you're clowns and you're letting them know, like, I don't like this. Respect that. Do your worst. Go oh. on, Beth. Let's see if she can handle it. Oh man, she's facing her fears. Okay. Okay, we're facing our fears here in this episode. The tale of laughing in the dark. Okay, that means the actual thing on Paramount Plus is wrong because it says it's the tale of the laughing in the dark, which is also a bad name. That was awesome. Yeah, don't give me that. You almost curled. I did not. So why were you screaming? Stop the run! Oh please, stop the run! This Sure, sure. That doesn't feel like like a threat or an insult. That feels kind of bad for you. Like just just saying. What's the matter? I'm not going in there. They say it's really haunted. <laughs> Give me a break. From what? But you, come on. Honestly, I agree with this kid. A also fair kid. Funny. Smells a little foul to me. Oh, that's actually a good pun. That was actually a really good pun, kid. Like Good job on the pun there. Don't believe in old Zebo, eh? Who are you? I run this place, I do. Wait a minute, isn't that the same guy who was Dr. Vink in the first episode? I think it was his, I think it's the same guy. There he'll be. Care to give it a go? So is that like a running thing? Is like he's just in every episode? Because if so, that's cool. I like that a lot. I'll be here. Here. That's creepy, dude. You're talking to a child. This man is underage. That is not appropriate. Also, he's gone. You okay? I this episode really is just leaning to the whole fact that clowns are creepy as hell, isn't it? What kind of strange stuff happened inside the ride. It's... Well, that's what the kids wanted to know, especially Ouija. I'm sorry. This kid's name is Ouija. Why is his name Ouija? Clown known as Zebo stole the whole entire circus payroll of four thousand dollars. Wow. That's a lot of money back then. Caught fire with him inside. They were just straight the reading off the script there. Zebo were futile. Tragically, the just straight reading the script. Is <laughs> it? The ghost of Zebo is still there. Trapped for all time. Yes, that's actually what the legend would be if you could just let them finish. And tickle them! <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. That's also assault. 
in many a many a degree. So you know that clown's a perv. It should. <laughs> okay, that was your own fault, kid. Some dumb old ride. Kids have seen things in there. They've heard things too. It's a spook house, lame ball. It's supposed to be spooky. I mean, honestly, I kind of grew a Ouija here. <laughs> Um, I mean, again, yeah. I, I so kind of agree with you. Like, going? people are saying, yeah, we get scared in the spook house. Yeah, that's the point. Ooh, he's calling in his, uh, his bravery. You're gonna eat those words. That was actually a good transition for this show. Good job, show. You did a good transition. But when I find the dummy clown, I'm gonna steal his notes. And okay, you, okay. To school for a week. <laughs> no All right, this is, a, this is a challenge now. Especially a challenge of pride. Can we steal the clown's nose? Chicken again? Fuck off. Fuck, 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 fuck. You get it. I'll wear it. Alright, kid. Alright, Ouija. Let's see if you can uh see if you can do this. <laughs> there he is, he's back again. Gonna give it a go, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That dude's just creepy. Why not in that dude is just creepy. Also, man, his teeth are yellow. Okay, I don't, again, I don't know if it's like just the lighting or like makeup prosthetics or whatever, but man, his teeth were yellow. <laughs> they look so bad. Yeah, it's like that's not that's not scary. Something about the scary. I am some kind of clown. <laughs> hey, look, there he is. Gotta say, that one, kind of creepy. I'll agree, that one's kind of creepy. I know it's you, old man. You can't scare me. Says the man who clearly is scared right now. That's really jiggly. Like that, uh, like that prosthetic head's just really jiggly. That's actually dangerous. That's actually like real fire. You know, I guess it's the '90s. I guess they can just like you know actually hurt kids whenever they feel like. You know, I think it's fine. I, I guess that's just what it was. Cigars. <laughs> it's almost like he's there with you. Pick the wrong door, and there he'll be. Gotta say, this is actually kind of creepy, you know? This is actually kind of creepy. I mean, kid, you found the exit. Just leave at this point. Should have just left, kid. You should have just left. Pride's getting the better of you. And then zoom in Zebo. There he is. A fake dummy. <laughs> no. Again, it's just an animatronic kid. Just, just an animatronic kid. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guy. That just looks weird. That just looks real weird rather than nose. Hope you can still smell your stinky cigars without your nose. <laughs> Okay, he just flipped him off. Just straight up, he just flipped off Zebo. <laughs> that kid just shot him the bird. <laughs> we just didn't get to see it because there was a nose on top. Also, clearly something's happening back there. Come on, give up, Kristen. <laughs> you can't take it. I'm fine. Keep going. I mean... Okay. She's taking it so far. She she's sitting there. Weege, it's you. The guys at school are gonna think so too. Not funny. Oh, that guy. We that that's the guy who's Weege. That's Josh. Sure. Again, Weege's not a name. It's all kid stuff with fake dummies and bogus sound effects. I mean, except for the real ghost you saw. Might have been scary for some people. I mean, again, you saw a real ghost in there though. It was on. <laughs> I'll get it for you. He's such a snot. This <laughs> is he's insufferable. Just straight insufferable. Sick 
cigars. <laughs> oh no, he's being stalked by the clown. That's not good. Whatever you do, if he if he offers you candy, do not take it, kid. Do not take the candy. Pretty, pretty solid suspense, I will say. Pretty solid suspense. Mainly for a kid show, but pretty solid suspense. I'm home. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> like, is it like terrifying? Terrifying. Pretty good. All right, got some spaghetti, got some chocolate pudding, got some video games. Sounds like a good time to me, kid. Also, yeah, just put the entire uh, Pyrex thing in the microwave. Yep, just just go ahead and do that. That is a shit ton of chocolate pudding. Why are you eating it with your hands? You don't have to clean that all up. That's a lot of chocolate pudding. Dad, is that you? But, like, seriously, like, why was he eating it with his hands? Like, is that just a 90s thing? What the hell? Somebody's in there. Okay, cool. Just baseball bat in the closet, just, just in case. Nice one, kid. Nice one, guys. Get of a hockey stick. Sorry, a broom. Even worse. This man is on edge. <laughs> Yo, Weege, what's up? Listen, I, uh, I was kind of being a baby this afternoon. Why is it, like, midday in your room when it is, like, clearly nighttime at, at Josh's house? One day, I was kind of hoping you'd forget it completely. <laughs> You're dreaming, pal. No. Zebo day for you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you, you lost a bet, kid. Like, you lost a bet. You're gonna have to wear the nose. Are you going to clean up the pudding? No way, Weege. You're not scaring me. Says the kid who's clearly scared right now. You can't scare him with kid stuff. There's you no just fully set on the table, kid? What? What's about all the forks? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, how can that burn so fast? <sighs> also, there is no way you'd be grabbing that Pyrex right out of the microwave. No way. He didn't clean up the pudding. He didn't clean up the pudding. Man, his parents are gonna kill him. Man, he dropped all that pudding. He just dropped the spaghetti. This man's dirtying up this kitchen. Then you were Zebo. Whoa, He's like, what's nope. the matter, Josh? You sound kind of scared. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm scared. This kid's terrified. <laughs> Who's that? Is that you, Kathy? Okay, I can phone? I can Josh, see why. People would like think this episode's like really terrifying. There's just a lot of stuff happening. You left the door unlocked, kid. This is kind of good. Not gonna lie, it's kind of good. Yeah, this is this is kind of good. I mean, Zebo's just tracking pudding throughout the house, though. That's not good. Well, it's, probably like, it's probably like his parents or something that were trying to unlock the door. Wait, could you just sneak into the park? Like, is, this, is the park closed? You just sneak in. That's, I think it's illegal. I think it's trespassing at this point. Oh, yeah, you definitely snuck in because the rides aren't on. You snuck into the park, kid. Good job. All right, Zebo, you want your nose back? Tech, come and take it back. Okay, strobing effect. That is going to get edited out because I don't want to blind people or call seizures. Okay, I shouldn't have taken your nose. I'm sorry. Are you really, though? Are you really sorry, kid? 
just to show there's no hard feelings. The hell? Cigars. What? The, where'd you? What the hell did you get those from? There's no way you bought them. Did you just take them from like your dad? If so, he's going to beat you for that. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Why did you just have a full ass box of cigars? <laughs> this guy again. It's the ghost of Zebo. Okay, that story is pretty good. That story was pretty good. Along. No way. He could have done that stuff in the house. Maybe the old guy was really Zebo's ghost. There we go, kid. You got it. Good thing, because we wouldn't want you having nightmares. One way! Where did you get that mask from? Where did he get that mask from? That's the real question we should be asking ourselves here. Where did he get that mask from? That is, for sure, the question to ask. But either way, that was a good episode, I will say. That was actually a very, very good episode. Um, like, like legitimately, that was actually a good episode. I can I can 100% see why so many people would say that that episode was probably the best one of the series. Um, or at least the one that is, like, most memorable. Because that one is actually the scariest. And, like, if, if I was a kid watching that, I probably would have actually been a little scared. But, like, I'm not a kid at this point, sadly. <laughs> I'm in my mid twenties. <laughs> this feels weird to say, but either way, that was a good episode. I did like that a lot. Um, I thought the entire actual like background story of Zebo that they made up for it was actually kind of fun and kind of cool. It's like, yeah, that, that 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 would make sense. That actually makes sense for like you know a horror story or whatever. That makes sense. Um, and then just like the actual like actual scares and stuff in the episode, I thought were really good. So like the entire like flow of the episode just felt pretty good. Yet again, though, yet again. These names of these characters are wild. Like, just absolutely wild. Like, the first episode we had Buzz and Denny. This one we got Ouija. Like, did uh, did they just not know just how to say, like, normal names? Like, just call someone Danny. Like, Danny's fine. You can just, instead of calling him Ouija, you can just call him Will. Like, I'm pretty sure that's perfectly fine. Because this isn't based off, like, actual books or anything. So, like, these aren't, like, written by somebody else. You can just make normal-ass names. <laughs> but either way, that was a fun one, though. I, I will say that was a really fun one. I think, story-wise, that one definitely, like, is better than, like, most of the Goosebump stories. And I'm going to try and compare these two. But, at the same time, it did, it did still feel like, you know, a 90s kid spooky show. But it did feel pretty good. Like, if that was actually, like, not a kid's show, they could have done some really cool stuff with that, I will say. Like, being haunted by this ghost of this clown. That's kind of cool. It really reminds me of, like, It. Like, a little bit of Stephen King's It. Mainly just because of the fact that Pennywise is, is the main villain of that. But, you know, beyond all that, that was very, very fun. I did very much enjoy that a lot. So let me know down in the comments below if you remember this episode as a child when you were watching, if you remember it as a kid, or if you if this is the first time watching the episode now, let me know what you think about this episode as well. Um, this one's a pretty good one. This was a pretty good one. And if you like this reaction, leave a like as well. It helps out and boost everything up in the algorithm so more people can find the channel and more people can find these videos. And if you want to help out and support the channel, there are multiple ways you can do that, but there are two main ways. The first one, for free, is just by subscribing down below. It helps out, and we, as, as, as yeah, it helps out a lot as we are getting to our thousand subscribers subscriber goal hopefully by the end of the year we can reach that goal the other way you can support me if you want to actually do a little more support is i do now have a patreon as well you can go ahead and subscribe down below to that and join the membership um and you can get access to complete full commentary videos of all of these that i am doing now from this point forward uh you'll get commentary videos for them where it won't have the actual episode in it because you know obviously copyright reasons but it'll be a full length episode you can just like play it with an episode and just get my full commentary with it which is pretty fun um and i'll be doing that for pretty much all the reactions i'll be doing going forward but either way either way supporting is fine if you just want to like and some comment subscribe that is also good too or if you just want to comment or just watch the video all those mean just as much to me as well but either way until next time if you want to see more spooky things go ahead and watch this right over here it's gonna be a playlist with me all spooky you can go ahead and watch that and over here's gonna be a video that youtube recommends for you as well and until next time stay spooky stay scary and watch for the nose everyone Till then, peace, everyone. Peace.